Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ailey if you're new and I'm totally squint. Hold on a second. Ugh, that's better. Okay, so a couple of issues. <laughs> I'm still kind of sick. <clears throat> I've been MIA for about a week because I have been sick. I've got, still got a woven with a great cold sore on my mouth. It's kind of like at the stage where it's just... The scab's literally about to fall off. I know that's minging, but cold sores, we get them. Some of us who are unlucky enough to have the virus. Uh, I've been quite ill for the past week. You can hear I'm still quite nasally. I know most people are like, get on with the video, we don't want to hear this. But this is my channel. So anyway, I really do hope that you do continue watching. The big white square behind me. That's from one of my shelves that has decided to fall off the wall. Yes, this is real life. <laughs> To be honest, I'm kind of sick to death of watching YouTube videos of these people who are multi-millionaires, who have a perfect life, who have a perfect filming setup, who have the perfect makeup, and to be honest, that is just not how the world works. That's not how life is, that's not how the world works. We all have our struggles, we all have flaws, we all have things wrong with us. Look at the state of my hair. I have washed it today but I don't have the energy to dry it so this is what you get. Okay, so that was like the world's longest intro. I'm really really sorry. Anyway, the reason that I don't have makeup on today, apart from the fact that I just really couldn't be bothered just now, but the reason that I don't is because I kind of wanted to show you my skin. It's been through it, don't get me wrong. The now maybe isn't the best time to be doing this because I don't think it gives an ac accurate representation of the product, but at the same time, this may happen to you. So just because you're taking something that's to help your skin, it doesn't mean that other things aren't going to get in the way and mess it all up for you. So this is my two month review of Halo Beauty. This is box number three, tub number three, whatever it is, you can see there's not very much left in it. We have 12 days left from tomorrow. So 12 days left of this and I thought if I leave this any longer we're going to be doing a three month review. So month two was a little bit of a roller coaster ride. My thoughts. I was fine on month two. Month two was pretty good. I got it pretty sharp and I had it for finishing month one. I took month two and the results sort of plateaued. So there wasn't really much change from like my week four to like you know sort of into the last week of month two I think that what happens is your body sort of gets all these new nutrients and does all of this like good stuff for your skin and stuff like that I will say like my skin feels good it feels hydrated all over my body and I love that I think that that is probably one of the main perks of this stuff is you don't have to buy a cream and put it from head to toe to get a benefit all over your body this is benefiting the whole of your skin and I did find that it hasn't been as irritated. Now, I did notice a difference in my psoriasis on my chest immediately when I started taking this and then it plateaued and recently because I've been sick it's flared up again. But on my face it has continued to get better. As you can see I have like a little red patch here and a little red patch here. It's not really like full-blown psoriasis anymore. It's It can get flaky but it doesn't tend to if you know what I mean. It's basically just, I don't know, it's it's just like really, really, really dry skin. And I can cover it with makeup and that's great. The one thing I have issue with is the price. I think it's ridiculously expensive. I think that it's it could do with being like a tenner cheaper. I know that there's amazing, amazing stuff in it, but I don't necessarily think that she should reduce the price of it. I just think that there could be better deals and better offers for people who are overseas and who end up with a ridiculous um, shipping charge. Now that's not just confined to Halo Beauty. I mean, I order stuff for my salon. I order stuff from down south, which is supposed to be the same country I live in, you know, the UK, even though I'm in Scotland and it's England, we're all still supposed to be the UK. And I get charged over 20 pounds for shipping, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I do understand the shipping thing, but I think I would, I would like to buy three of these together, but when I buy three together, the taxes double and the shipping goes up. So, I, I, you know, well, not double, they triple and the shipping goes up. There are a lot of downsides. I would say it's totally worth it if you can afford it. I wouldn't say start this and give it a try and then, because if you find it works and you can't afford to sustain it, it is kind of heartbreaking. I had to, on my month two, 
when I finished it, I, I didn't order it on time and I ended up going between two pays. I know I pay myself and I, I, I did actually end up paying myself early. But it was a case of when I stopped, this really should be sort of a month three update, but we'll just kind of put it in here. When I stopped month two and before month three arrived, I broke out. These are all the breakouts and they're still there. I mean, obviously it, it takes a long time for like the marks and that to go away. But these all sort of broke out down here. My chin was a mess, an absolute mess. Now, I know that like sometimes when you start a new skincare routine and it agrees with you and then you stop it, it can make your skin go crazy for a little while. That's what I was worried was happening. So I obviously made money available and I went and I bought this and it started clearing up. Now, a lot of the marks and stuff like that I have just now, especially this little get here, is because I've, I'm full of the cold. My nose is still stuffy. I still have a sore throat. I'm still coughing through the night and stuff like that. So I can't differentiate between what is cold related and what is lack of or that it's not doing Halo Beauty related. So this is sort of just my little mini I really need to film a video <laughs> update. And I just kind of wanted to say it's not a medical tablet. I know a lot of people really, really love Tatty. I'm one of those people, I've been watching her since she did her first ever WTF video. That's how I found her. And I think that she's absolutely fantastic. I think that she's amazing, but I'm not going to sit here and say that this stuff has changed my life and is absolutely amazing and is completely flawless and totally worth it and everything like that just because I love the person that created it. I do think that they are good. I think that they are... I've never taken a, a skin vitamin... Vitamin? Woo! I've never taken a skin vitamin before and actually felt like it's really made a difference to my skin. So there is that. But I don't think it's a, it's a medical cure. I mean, my skin isn't completely clear. I mean, it's... It very rarely stays completely clear, but it is the best that it has been in a long time. And I do have a pretty decent skincare routine going on just now, but I am a wee bit lax with it, so it could be. But I am going to continue using it. And yeah, if you want to see how I got on with it, then obviously subscribe so you can keep watching obviously um but yeah i think that's pretty much it i didn't want to i don't want to make this video too too long but yeah. okay so flash forward a few weeks i have decided to combine these two videos into one because really the first video or the second video that i did like the video on month two that i did just didn't really have enough in it for me so yes we are talking about month three of halo beauty and I have two tablets left. So I decided that I wanted to make this and include it in the month two video just purely because I didn't want to have to try and piece together another video because really I didn't kind of bother taking progress photos or anything like that because to be honest it was kind of swings and roundabouts. You know one day would be great, the next day I would be really broken out, the next day I would have really dry skin. It just, yeah, it wasn't actually it wasn't helpful. So I wanted to add this little bit on to my other video purely because I have decided not to buy a fourth month. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. First reason being is this is so flipping expensive. It's over £40 to get it to the UK and I just don't think any vitamin is worth that amount of money. I'm sorry. I know I understand that a lot of it is shipping and taxes and VAT and stuff like that but I just think that it's a bit ridiculous amount to be spending. So unless she gets a UK distributor, that's just always going to be the case. I just think they're a bit overpriced. I know that they have great ingredients in them, but I haven't seen enough of a difference to justify the price tag. I know I really liked them in my first video, and I even still really liked them last month. But for what I'm seeing, it's just not worth the money. I think they're great, don't get me wrong, but I think they're great at like £25 not 40 especially when you if you've not got an awful lot of money to spend on vitamins you know what I mean so I've got two left I'm not gonna reorder 
I go on holiday from the day that I'm doing this video, I go on holiday exactly two weeks from now. Don't worry, you're coming with me. Um, and I just think that I don't have the money to be spending on this. I'd rather keep it and spend it on my holiday or buy something for my holiday, like good SPF or something like that. On camera, I don't actually look too bad, I wouldn't have said, my sk or my skin doesn't look too bad, should I say. So, I mean, my dry skin, it's sort of just the same as it always is. I haven't moisturised. I've just washed my face and I haven't moisturised. I just want to make that abundantly clear. But, I mean, I've still got my breakouts down here. I cannot get rid of these. My chin is a mess just now. My dry skin's kind of the same way it always is. And, yeah, it's just, there's no, I mean, I noticed a bit of improvement to begin with. But since the kind of initial improvement I haven't really seen any difference. My skin on my face is still as dry as it always has been. I will say the skin on my body is still really hydrated. That is the one thing. So if you struggle with like really dry skin on your body and you struggle like you don't want to be buying like body butters and things like that, maybe that this you know would benefit you. I don't really care to be honest. I'm actually wanting to get another tub of the bum bum cream because I love how that stuff smells. But, yeah, I just wanted to kind of, I, I'm basically going round and round in circles. I think that the product is great. I really do. But not for the price. I, and it really kills me to say that. But it just doesn't do it for me for how much it costs to get it here. If you're in the US and you can benefit from free shipping, if you can get discounts on multiple products and things like that, I think that, yeah, this might be really good for you. But getting it over here overseas, I just think it's not worth the money. So, unless it becomes available to us over here a lot more easily and a lot more affordably, I don't think I'll be getting it again, but I'm gonna reassess after my holiday. I know that my holiday is gonna, it'll take a little bit out of my skin because generally spending eight hours on a plane does that to anybody, but I'm gonna sort of just compensate for that with sheet masks and stuff. So we'll see how it is after I come back and then maybe I'll go back into it. But like I said just now, I'm putting all my money into my holiday and I don't have £40 to spend on vitamins. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Obviously I would love if this video was helpful to you, if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post videos at least once a week. <laughs> this has changed every time I've recorded a video, but basically it's just really difficult for me to keep up with everything just now and for the amount of views that I actually do get it's not really worth three videos a week to me because it's just a lot of time video, a lot of time filming and a lot of time editing. So I am actually focusing a lot of my tutorials and things like that over on TikTok. A link in the description box below my TikTok so that you can go and check it out and follow me over there. That's where I predominantly do a lot of my tutorials because tutorials just don't get views over here anymore. So yeah. Hopefully I will see you guys in my next video and don't forget to go and check out my TikTok account. Bye.